action for me, but now watching Amir Mansour all these years later, I mean, he's got that same type of clubber-esque power with that right hook, and it's just, uh, it's fun to sit here ringside and watch it, guys. Well, that says a lot about him. You don't get a Mike Tyson and a Mr. T reference often in the same fighter. A whole lot of more. Well, clubber Lang clubber with the southpaw, and he was from uh, right down the road, Chicago. Amir's from Philadelphia, so, uh, you know, you see where I'm going with this. You're, you're saying Rocky Balboa might be next for Amir if he wins. Uh -oh. Now we see a lot of blood coming out of the mouth of Amir Mansoor. Yes. Some just spit blood. Um, two oh, right, he's down. This fight's Mansour over. has knocked him out. A thunderous right by Amir Mansoor, and Cassie is out cold. And they need to take a good look at Cassie right now. He's in bad shape, yeah. Kenny. He went straight yeah. down on his face. His eyes really aren't moving too much, so everyone needs to take a step back and just let give Cassie some room here to operate. He's still out. That was a devastating one punch knockout by a Muir Mansour. You guys were talking about he needed to get a KO. That was that right hook. Cassie was standing a bit too straight up against the ropes. He caught him with that shot, and you know, Cassie still looks to be in bad shape here, guys. That was as devastating a knockout as you will see. Sound like a Cassie sub went out cold with that one punch power of Amir Mansoor. Caught him with a good first shot, set it up with a nice left hand right hook. And then after that, he saw Cassie stand straight up against the ropes. Feet were squared together, had nowhere to go. Shot the nice right hook, caught him right on the chin. Picture perfect. Cassie down face first. I just hope he's all right now. Chris Mannix telling us that he is responsive. Once As you look at the scene here, and that shows the power that Mansoor has. Wow. And when we were talking about a little bit of blood coming out and Cassie was kind of frustrating him at times, even though Mansoor was in control of the fight, that's how quick in a blink of an eye Mansoor can turn a fight around. Wow, that's that kitchen sink theory right there. One, that was the refrigerator and the washing machine and everything else in one big right that simply floored Fred Cassie. As you see, they continue to attend to him. And one thing a bit frightening here, guys, is Cassie still has his legs crossed exactly how they were when they he just separated him right there. So he is gaining a bit of responsiveness now, but they're putting him on that stretcher and making sure he's okay. So hopefully he's okay here and just, uh, you know, nothing but uh, hope here for Fred Cassie how they're treating him right now. Let's just, let's hope he's all right. Mansoor comes yeah. to check on the scene. Let's check in with Chris. Guys standing just a couple of feet away from Fred Cassie. He is still down, obviously, but he is responsive. They do have an oxygen mask on him right now, obviously trying to take off his gloves at the moment, but his eyes are open, the neck brace is on, and obviously the next step is to take him out on the stretcher. Precautionary measures with the brace and with the stretcher in these situations. Thank yeah, no you for doubt. that, Chris. Very dangerous sport, but you know, uh, Cassie looks more responsive. He's talking, I see him moving his lips. He'll be okay. Now he's moving his feet, moving his legs, but you know, people people tend to forget, you know, in this boxing business, it's not a game. And uh, you know, fighters risk their life every time they get in that ring, and uh, this can happen at any time. And you know, Amir Mansoor, congratulations on a fantastic win. Fred Cassie was giving him some good work, and I just, uh, at this moment, all I care about is hoping for the best for Fred Cassie and hoping that he, he recovers and that he's okay now because he took a, took a very hard shot there, and we just hope for the best for him. You never want to see a fighter uh, get injured like that in the boxing